Guys, before we start this video, I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by me and I'm making the digital product so you're able to make a pre-order. Now it's cost 50% off about $7.99. When it will be released, it will uh, cost a double price. So uh, I'm trying to put inside a lot of different information such as color gradients, how to make your animation looks really pretty and beautiful so also we will make a lot of different breakdowns it will be more complex breakdowns about different animation virally yeah? uh, you're welcome you can visit my website and you will see there a different information about it and let's go into the video hey guys and only look at this animation i like it so much uh, especially this part with this glass so uh, today i want to make some breakdown how we can make the same uh, glass like this like this one so uh, for that uh, we will create a composition uh, here find the social media portrait and use it uh, then guys we will use the rectangle tool make it something like this uh, then go to the rectangle pass and use the convert to bezier pass now we need to use the pen tool and select uh, the point over here and press the shift plus your arrows on the uh, keyboard so let's move these points to the center yeah and it will looks like this pretty cool uh, let's use a line button for it to use the center here also guys we can use the anchor point to set it on the middle um, you can make it with the control and double press on this button here, over here yeah so it will uh, sticks to the center. Uh, we have done uh, our, I guess it will be like a stroke. Yeah, so let's remove the fill here and leave just the stroke. Let's let it be like a three pixels, maybe more. I guess we will add more pixels right now. Maybe seven, I don't know. So let's see here we have the red color. Yeah, so let's choose the red color as well. So it will be something like that. And now let's see what we have as well. Also, we want to create the liquid, yeah, so to create this liquid, we just need to find any brown color, so for example, it will be like our coffee, yeah, so we just need to make it something like this, and guys, then um, we are gonna to find some effect. After, guys, you find the effects, just use the wave warp, let's adjust our width and height, so probably... Uh, it will be not so much, yeah, maybe something like that, I don't know. So, I guess it will be enough. Let's duplicate shape layer number 1 and now uh, reset the stroke to 0 and use the white fill and then rename it a mask. So, it is our mask and now, guys, we are going to use the track mat and use it for uh, this part yes yeah. so well, we put it this like already liquid inside this mask yeah so uh, pretty easy now guys it looks like this uh, but we will make it even better so every time you want to make uh, your liquid we trying to make like the uh, like two layers of it i don't know so i'll just uh, let you see how it looks so we made one more uh, face over here and we also want to make it more darker so it will be more darker but we will uh, move it below this one there guys uh, let's uh, reset the wave speed uh, let's set it to uh, about 0.6 and we will see how it looks right now maybe here it will be 0.8 here guys we can see that uh, this liquid uh, have some space over here so we can make it as well we just need to adjust our mask but i guess it's not necessary so now we need to uh, recreate this shape over here so we will create the shape for it but before to make it i want to increase some stroke yeah and let's place it on the top i like it and now use the pen tool and here we are going to make these lines so like this yeah then guys after you made it just use any color you want and we need only the fill for it we can make it like this and probably we will uh, place it below our uh, stroke i don't know and guys there you can place any logo so any logo you want yeah so let's make a circle here 
uh, let's place it to the middle and make any other color yeah so it will be like this uh guys now let's create the rectangle make it in this way so like this now we need to find the properties and here increase the roundness of it uh, also let's let's make it with the red color yeah i guess it will be fine so maybe we will make it a bit darker i don't know but i think it looks pretty cool and here on the top we are going to make something like this so probably it will uh, be not perfect but it will be uh, good enough i want to use uh, maybe some orange color uh, something like this yeah and let's remove the stroke here and guys we will place it below the this layer so guys now we already have this cup um, also what we can see here uh, like we have this stick yeah uh, you can make it as well just using the shapes and place it uh, here but i want to show you how we can make this uh, light reflections yeah so i like it so much and guys also as you can see this liquid uh, like it's not just the feel it's like a gradient so from the uh, light brown yeah to the more darker here so uh, we can make more natural colors as well so now let's use the gradient but not for this shape for another one so use the gradient over here and let's make it in this way uh, just use some brown colors need to adjust it for example it will be something like this so guys you can make it even better I'm trying to put some time into it but uh, probably it will not be perfect yeah also increase the opacity uh, for this uh, so guys I noticed that we have not full opacity here so increase it to the hundred percent and probably it will be it should be good I guess so the liquid should be good uh, let's move uh, for the light reflection uh, the same pretty easy so just make this line uh, then use the white color for it and we will just use the track mat on our mask but we need to put it uh, below our shapes uh, here yeah so let's place it below now it looks like this uh, but we will use we will decrease the opacity for it and now it looks something like this uh, so guys then you can pre-compose uh, pre all of it and when you will move it in the right time you just use this uh, position keyframe so you can move it like this yeah uh, then for example in the other way another way yeah somewhere here so it will looks pretty cool and uh, you can make it one more time let's use the transform and flip horizontal uh, let's place it be below yeah somewhere here and let's decrease the opacity and place it even somewhere the somewhere here yeah so the same uh, you, you can use the uh, position keyframes for it for example uh, it goes from there to to there something like that yeah and then maybe something like that or i guess you can make it uh, way better maybe return the horizontal mode to this one so it will be more nature i don't know so guys you can play with that and you can make it even better so that's how you can make this uh cup yeah pretty easy and i like it so much when i saw this uh this video of the first time yeah so guys uh i wish you good luck and i hope this video was pretty useful for you yeah and you can also pre-compose by the way all of that and then you can uh, use it for your own uh, animations thank you so much guys for watching i love you so much and see you soon in the next video goodbye